Okay, fuckers and fuckheads, look here. Um, the other day I did that video on reassembling your key and VB carbs. And a kid the following day pointed out to me in an email that you also have the key and VBs that do not have the removable idle jet. Okay, so these are already cleaned up. Internally they're beautiful. I'm just going to do a quickie walkthrough for you because I'm not quite done with preparing the parts for these carbs. Um, when you slam your air body together, these are off of an 81 Goldwing. Now the, the Charlie Bravo 650 Sam Charlie CB650 SC also had this same style of VB carb. And when I title this video, I'm just going to title them as the ones without the removable jets because I don't feel like looking up a bunch of numbers and figuring out what the fuck's what and shit. Um, I like y'all, but it's a Sunday, and quite frankly, I'd rather be out getting laid than sitting here at the shop doing this. But, uh... If it's a gold wing, and these are off of an 82, follow your linkage, okay? This arm goes on here. This arm goes on here. And you do have gaskets to go in there. I might do a video on those later. And your choke comes up in through this little hole right here. Um, that's that simple. Um, now, backing back off of those, let's get to just the car. Um, and the Goldwing 1100, I've seen these on 82s before. The... Um, CBA650SC is the only other one that comes to mind right off the top of my head. Give all the passages a little extra squirt. And that's just to get out any dirt that your carb cleaner might have left in there. Um, okay. Tubes first. Again, I'm going to hit them with a little carb cleaner. Just to get off any leftover dirt. That's all I'm after. And my brass looks pretty good. It's still got tiny tinge on there but that'll go away the second gas hits it and I will be taking these back apart to make sure of that Pilot again, give it a little shot. Get a little wipe on your shirt, maybe. By the way, this carb cleaner I'm sticking my hands into, you probably shouldn't do that. They say it'll cause cancer and all kind of shit been doing it for years. Boom. There, I'm done with that. I need a seat. I'm pull a main at the same time here. Okay, now when I do my seats, I pull them apart real quick. Spray out the inside 
and I look away from it because that motherfucker will come back on you. But you got to give it a good shot to get all that remaining crap out of there because your carb cleaner never quite leaves them all the way clean. Boom. Okay, so I pop my seat in there. Spring for said needle. Just wait out all these fucking springs too. Now, on this particular one, I know what my mains are. When I disassembled this rack, I noticed, see I write down my turns, I wipe this off every time between uses, but one of them was at three and a half turns, two of them were at two and three quarter turns, and one of them was at three turns. Um, I know better than that shit. These, for these jets, these needles should be at two and a half. You need to look up according to your jets that you have. Um, and the best reference, believe it or not, is the um, Climber's um, Goldwing Manual. They'll tell you how to jet these fuckers all the way up to 125s on the stock needles and 130s just at a half a turn. Okay, so I turn that all the way in. I come back out. There's a half. There's one. There's a half. There's two. There's a half. That's where that some bit should be. Now that's just to start the bike. You still dial in your mixtures after you're done, and you set them by temperature. Um, and on a set of bodies in this good a shape, there should be no reason that you're more than an eighth of a turn off from each other. Uh, and I don't know where my little seven. I know where my 10 millimeter is. Hell, I just had this in my hand. Boom. Very gentle. That's in there. I like that. Main. Driver. Crank that in, and he's getting a full set of new mains out of me because I don't like that that's got that dent in there. But like I say, I'm already, this is just to show you the other style of Keyhin VB. I'm only going to do one in this video. I wasn't quite ready to put these all the way together. Cut off valve. So that was number one car, but I need one air cut off valve and one spring. Sometimes that spring will try and stay up on you right there. Just turn the some bitch until it falls in. If that don't work, take you a picky tool or the end of your fingernail. Click that bitch down in there. 
Just like that right there. Oh well, no, bitch didn't stay. Yeah, it did. Guarantee you, that motherfucker stayed. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Now I need an O-ring right here. And so happens I have a stockpile of them. Well, that is the right one. So I'm going to put a 7 on my 6 rack. Hold on. these fuckers laid out. And I got an empty rack in there. That's that explains that. That's how they go in. I think what I'm going to have to do later on after I'm done with this video, I'm probably going to have to take a couple of air cutoff valves apart, the uh, packages, and just rub some fresh o rings out of there. But for the meantime, for the purposes of showing you how to put them together, this will do. By the way, he's in my friends list as a Jamie somebody. He's putting one of these on a dirt bike. Boom. Bitch is on there, and she is sealed. 
Okay, now for tops. This is engine assembly loop. A little bit in here. slides. This is engine assembly loop. Boom. Now, before I put that in, It's one of these. And that is your guide for your slide too, by the way. I'm going to blast your guide for those. PH2. PR2. The other one's a PH2. Boom, she's in there. And I set my slide in. Hang it straight up and down and you never have a problem getting that needle to sit. Perfect. Went in nice. Nice and tight too. And I need to wipe that off because I done got shit all over it. Like I say, I've got to peel these apart back again because I'm just showing you. Because I told him I would and it's been a couple of days and I didn't really mean to do that. Boom. And we need a top. Nope, we need a ring. It's an edge on your ring. Flat edge comes up. Notched edge goes down. Put that sucker up straight. Oops, almost forgot. Little squirt. She needs and pull my spring back out. You got extra on your finger when you're done on this part. Just wipe it off there. Boom. And I need two top screws. Again, I need my black screwdriver. Now that's why I didn't put my floats in right away. Now. Pick this up for just a second because I'm 80% sure that my 7mm is laying right here underneath this toe. And yes, folks, that's my system. I put washcloths and shit down because I can't afford a whole lot of space here, so I work with what I got. Uh, now, I weighed out floats according to which curb they went in. Two scratches on it, so that one is number two carp. Needle. And it's got a nice brand new needle now. Boom. Needle went on, float went on.
Okay. Now I need a pin for said float. Some democratic liberal yuppie out there be cringing because I'm reaching my hand in this shit. You know what I forgot? I forgot my washer. Beautiful thing about seeing this shit done live right in front of your face, you can see me fucking up too. Very gentle. Okay, I like that. Now let me put my float back in and my needle back in. See, that's how I do it. Put my pin there to hold the float. And that works beautifully, wonderfully. Um, and this is actually the one with the accelerator pump. That was intentional. Um, that's the one he's going to be needing to be using on that fucking dirt bike. Otherwise, these things suck shit without an accelerator pump. Get some bitch wiped out there. Boom. Boom. Okay, now before I stick that on there, they come with this little rubber thing here. This rubber thing has got a fat end. The fat end comes up to me. The skinny end goes down through the hole. I'm 
Don't cuss, don't cuss Honda, but cuss Keehan for ever coming up with this crazy shit. Just a little nudge. I'm not putting any pressure. I don't stand a snowball's chance in hell of ripping it. Okay, now that motherfucker's in there. Now, I need a bowl gasket. Make sure it's clicked in all them little notches. Doesn't really click, but you know what I mean. Make sure that them little notches, them bumpies in that bowl are holding it. Boom. If everything's right with the world. Now, these things come with a brand new spring for a reason. Use that shit. Boom, and the cover for the accelerator pump. This deep one looks like it's supposed to be a cover for an air cutoff valve, but it's really a deeper one. That'll get wiping off real quick. Spring. I need three screws, shorties. so sure I like these new ones. Normally K&L makes good parts, but I'm not so, you know, I like them to where they fit all the way in there, all the way to the edges. I don't like this shrunk up shit k is doing lately with Boom, and then I put in my bowl screws, I'm ready to go. Now, as far as linkage goes, um, I'm a helpful motherfucker, but I ain't gonna help the kid that much because I'd rather he made his own. Um, obviously, this one's your throttle, this one's your choke. I don't know what else to tell him on that. Um, I'd probably steal part of a, um, he's got a rack of carbs from a CB900. I'd probably steal part of a linkage from a, um, oh god, probably from a CM400 would be the easiest to put on there, um, but he's got to work with what he's got is what I'm assuming from his email, so anyway, that covers that, and uh, whoever it is that was asking about the Suzuki Makuni carbs, look, they're over there. They're on the shelf. Let's zoom in on them sons of bitches. Wait a minute. Is that them? No. Yeah, that's them. Okay, I'll get to them in a few days. Um, right now I'm kind of swamped and backed up and it's Sunday. So the kid for the McCunies, 
Yeah, hey, I'm trying. I at least fucking went down, robbed out, and the kid for the 450 stator, the GS450 stator, too. Um, I went down and robbed out an engine. I went down and robbed out that set of carbs. So I'm going to try and get to those in the next few days. Um, in the meantime, that's how you put your VB with that does not have the removable idle jet back together. Well, I'll let y'all fuckers and fuckettes later.